Welcome to the March 2020 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. Corey here with Noob Computer Builds. We have four gaming PC builds to bring you this month. Uh, to give you a quick overview, we have the $1,500 build, the $1,000 build, the $700 build, and the $500 build. Those are builds that should pretty much cover most of any gamer out there from the $500 build, which is the console killer build. Those that are getting out of the consoles into gaming PC building, or uh, those who are just building a budget PC build this month into the $700 build, which will max out games at 1080p resolutions, the $1,000 build, which will max out games at 1080p resolutions and high FPS at 1080p resolutions, and play games really well into 2K resolutions, and then that $1,500 build, which will max out games no problem at those 2K resolutions and even into the high frame rates, and then even into the 4K resolutions. So if you fit uh, any of those builds, then these builds are for you. So let's get started with the first one this month, the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month. Uh, to give you a quick overview of this, the CPU that we uh, include in this one this month is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, a great uh, processor for any gaming PC build, uh, as well it is a really good uh, kind of multitask uh, processor, so if you want to do some streaming, video editing, and stuff like that, this will really fit the bill for you. Uh, also this month, if you're purchasing at the beginning of the month here, uh, it is discounted a bit right now, it's usually about $320, but right now it's at $299.63. Uh, this CPU comes with uh, comes with its own uh, cooling, so uh, um, a stock Wraith Prism cooler. It's an air cooler. It also has these fancy RGB lighting. Uh, it's probably most of what anyone needs, but you can always upgrade that in the future if you want to really overclock this beast uh, and then get some uh, liquid CPU cooling with that as well. The motherboard. We have the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus. Uh, this is one is a premium uh, motherboard. Uh, it comes with Wi-Fi and stuff like that, all built in. Has the RS Sync RGB lighting. This comes in at one eighty three ninety nine. The uh, graphics card, <laughs> sorry, the graphics card we have this month is the EVGA GeForce RTX twenty seven Super uh, gaming graphics card. Like I said, this graphics card will crush any game at two K resolutions, at high uh, frame rates, and then even play games well into four K. Uh, this comes in at $509.99. If you really were serious for, about 4K gaming, you could get a 2080 Ti or 2080 uh, graphics card as well, but you will need to spend more money. The memory we have is a 16 gigabyte kit of Crucial Ballistic Sport LT, 3200 megahertz uh, frequency memory, uh, coming in at $74.99. We also have the Western Digital Black uh, NVMe 1 terabyte SSD. Uh, we switched this one up this month. This one comes in at $158.99 and offers super fast read write speeds at 3100 uh, quoted megabytes per second uh, read speeds, uh, so which is really sweet. Uh, and then the power supply we have is the Corsair RMX series, uh, 750 watt, fully uh, modular power supply, uh, which is a uh, uh, more than enough juice to power this build at $129.99. And then the case we've swapped this month, uh, swapped in, is uh, a newer Thermaltake. Uh, uh, 20MT. Um, this is a really sweet case because it uh, comes with a bunch of cooling uh, for you RGB fan fans out there. RGB fans of fans <laughs> out there. It comes with uh, three cooling fans on the front and then one at the back. Uh, so uh, it's a full solution straight out of the box. So $94.99. So this comes out to $1,450 at the beginning of March 2020. If you're on the hunt for more alternatives to this build or you have more money to spend, do visit the site here at noobcomputerbuild.com and visit the full uh, build page and we go over that there as well. Moving on to the next build, we have the $1,000 gaming PC build of the month. Uh, so like I said, this is the extreme settings at 1920 by 1080 resolutions and then higher settings into the 2560 by 1440 uh, resolutions as an example or 2K resolutions. C CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. Uh, six core CPU at $211.13. This also comes with a stock Wraith Spire cooler, uh, which is great and is more than enough for most people. So you don't have to spend more money on a cooler. Um, the motherboard we have is the MSI, sorry, <laughs> the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. I love this motherboard. Uh, it's, it comes with all the features most of anyone will ever use straight out of the box. Comes fully compatible with uh, uh, the Ryzen 3600X. Uh, without doing anything, it's a B450 motherboard, and it uh, it's just a great overall board. Uh, comes in at $114.99. The graphics card included in this build, uh, this one in particular is the XFX RX 5700. It's eight gigabyte uh, graphics card at $329.99. The RAM, the memory for this build is the Crucial Ballistic Sport LT. It's also the 16 gigabyte kit, so two eight gigabyte sticks 
at $74.95. Well, we have more of a budget uh, NVMe SSD, but still very fast at the read write speeds. Uh, Western Digital Blue, uh, 500 gigabyte uh, NVMe at $64.99. You can see it offers a little slower read write speeds than the <coughs> sorry than the one in the $1,500 build. Uh, but still very good, especially if you're upgrading from a typical SATA uh, SSD or used to using one of those as well, or even better if you're using a hard drive still. Um, the power supply for the $1,000 gaming PC build is the EVGA 650CQ. Uh, it's a gold semi-modular, so it's a semi-modular because not all the cords are... Uh, you can't unplug all the cords from the back, from the back but the ones that aren't modular uh, you'll be using uh, anyways. You'll have to use them anyway. Uh, PC case we have is the Fantex uh, Eclipse P400. This is the white version, also comes in a black version. Might save you a couple of bucks actually, I, th I think, if you go with the black version. Uh, but I'm featuring the white one here because I, I, I like it. It's uh, kind of this sleek, minimalistic look, which I like to go for. This one comes in at $79.99. And this build comes in at under $1,000 uh, this month at $973. Moving on. The entry-level gaming PC builds. This one's a $700 gaming PC build. So it's for those of you out there that just have an HD monitor, so that's a 1080p monitor, monitor and just want to play games on it and max them out. This is all you need to spend. <laughs> so for $700, we're going with the CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600 at $174.99. Also includes the Ray Stealth cooler. Uh, the motherboard is the ASRock B450 Steel Legend, uh, which is a great budget board coming in at $99.99. Um, and then the graphics card for the $700, $700 build is the ASUS GeForce GTX 1660 Super overclocked. Uh, if you can afford it, uh, go with an RX 5600 XT. However, they're a little overpriced at the moment, uh, but this card will get you the performance quoted above at $239.99. The memory is a Crucial Ballistics kit of 2400 megahertz uh, RAM, 8GB uh, kit for $34.99. Has two four gigabyte sticks. The SSD we have is a SATA Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte SSD at $50.53. And the power supply is a 500 watt thermal take smart power supply. This is all the power that you'll need to power this particular build. And this is uh, comes at $40.99. And then the, the case for this one is the Fantech Eclipse P300. This is, has kind of the red overtone or red tones on the top and the bottom. Comes in blue and uh, a couple others, I believe. Uh, it's a great budget case. So $53.99, and this build comes in at just just over $700, at $713 uh, at the moment. Now, finally, the $500 entry-level gaming PC build, the quote-unquote console killer. For those of you that are upgrading from a console, this will offer better than console performance at only $500. And, um, uh, or those of you that are just getting into PC building or just building a new budget PC build. You will be able to play any game out there. Um, uh, at 1080p resolutions. So the CPU, AMD Ryzen 5 2600 with the Ray Stealth cooler uh, as well. Uh, there's a theme going on in the AMD theme, but they all come with coolers, stock coolers, which are which are uh, good straight out of the box. So and the motherboard we have is the MSI uh, <clears throat> B450M Pro Max that you see here, 7499. The graphics card for this one is the XFX RX 570 4 gigabyte graphics card. That comes in at a modest $121.97. And the memory we have is a Crucial Ballistic Sport 2400 uh, MHz DDR4 kit of 8 gigabyte um, memory at $34.99. We have a Western Digital Blue 250 gigabyte SSD at $33.99. And then the Thermal Take 500 watt power supply again at $40.99. And then we have a, <laughs> and I love this build for this. Is the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L. It's a micro ATX case. So micro ATX is a smaller than a typical mid-tower ATX case. So it is a more compact build, a smaller build overall, and that case comes in at $54.99. The reason we're able to go with the, this case in this build is because we went with a micro ATX uh, motherboard. So a smaller form factor motherboard. Uh, and this build comes at uh, out at $512. And that does it for the March... 2020 gaming pc builds of the month brought to you by noob computer build like i said visit the site um and if you visit the article at noobcomputerbuild.com uh there are uh hardware alternatives as well as more gaming pc builds and gaming pc information as well we're here to answer your questions if you're uh, building your pc along the way or just leave a comment on the video below and uh, i'll get back to you if you have any questions uh if you're building a pc build this month 
As well, keep in mind that you will need your gaming PC peripherals, monitors, mice, keyboards, and your operating system in case you don't have one. As an example, here's three examples. Windows 10, typical, <laughs> the typical OS. Uh, so do keep that in mind uh, that you will need to get that as well. There are free alternatives out there as well, and they're uh, listed here if you're ever interested in playing around with uh, Linux, kind of Ubuntu or uh, SteamOS as an example. Uh, but yeah, until next month, happy building.